today, February 14th, you think of Valentine's Day, but in reality, we, we are here to promote love, and it's a day that we tend to think of relationships, and what a perfect way to promote healthier relationships in our society. It's a juxtaposition of like a, a day that's supposed to be meant for romance, and this is a very real uh, situation that happens every day for women everywhere, that they're being faced with violence and, and oppression in their own homes. I'm a community resident that thinks that this is an important cause. Um, we need to be out here to make a statement against uh, gender violence, and the issue is very important to us because a lot of times it's a hidden uh, issue that occurs and a lot of stigma that happens with it because there's fear, there's embarrassment. We know that violence affects the children that watch it, the children that witness it. Each case is totally different, and we tend to think of domestic violence as an issue that is only physical, but domestic violence does not discriminate. We have seen cases of doctors, psychologists, undocumented women. I happened to go to Guatemala uh, last year in February, shortly after Daisy Garcia got killed. Uh, she was killed with her two daughters. And uh, many of her, everybody in her family knew what was happening. Everybody in her neighborhood knew what was happening. And people in her church knew what was happening, and yet nobody did anything. I saw a couple. The guy was screaming at the girlfriend. She was sitting on the floor right here in the subway station. And families walked right by with kids holding their hands, and nobody took a stand. Nobody stopped it. And the young woman was pregnant. Nobody took a stand. And, and that is what I want to send out the message. We are all responsible. We all have to take a stand. We all have to stand up. Become agents of change against domestic violence. Because they has, you know, two sides to it where it talks about loss. We have to talk about all things related to the issue of love and how sometimes love gets dark, but how we can continue to keep it something that's powerful. To ask all our neighbors, all our friends, to join us in our anti-violence, fighting for justice. At this time, exactly as I'm speaking to you, hundreds of women, men and women in other countries are doing the same thing we're doing right now. on how to address this issue. We're doing outreach and creating consciousness and educating people about the movement. And then at one, we're supposed to do a flash mob dance. We're doing the electric slide to promote love and denounce violence. We want to invite all of the men that are passing by to take the time to listen to us and to join us in our dance. Because if this is not just a women's issue, this is a whole society's issue. Join our fight against the, uh, violence against women and girls. Break the silence. Look for someone. But speak out. There are people out here that want to help you. There are people out here that understand. And it's going to meet you in your level. It's not going to judge you. It's just going to help you. We have a very high incidence violence in this neighborhood and that's why we said we have to bring it home we have to bring it to our street to our hood and uh, we all live and work around here so we decided this is what we wanted to do a victimization happens everywhere and it touches everyone even if it's not particularly happening to you that it should be something you um, are kept aware of. There's so much help out there. Do not be silent. Do not think that you are alone because you're not alone. No one deserves to be in an abusive relationship. So please break the silence and there are free resources. Um, I work with an organization called Exile to Inhale. Ah. <laughs> we bring uh, free yoga classes, trauma sensitive to domestic violence centers. We are here. Kingsbridge Heights Community Center, there's completely free mental health services for domestic violence survivors and child sexual abuse and physical abuse survivors. We also have a program that provides free uh, services to 
survivors of domestic violence, such as counseling, um, a free 24-hour hotline, crisis intervention, uh, emergency shelter placement. We also of offer compensation to victims of crime. And also, most importantly, we provide outreach and educational workshops free of charge to the community. We help women and children, uh, parents being first teachers. And we are in the community. We are here in the uh, East Harlem area, on the name first in Lexington. We also have other centers. Just look us up, childrensaidsociety.org. We at the community board, I think we believe that we have to work to coordinate the services, to make sure that, that the services are available, um, that are culturally competent, and that are gender, gender neutral, because the issue is um, that there's violence that occurs in all genders, all races, all ages, and we're concerned about um, sending a message that we are here today standing in unity against this issue. None of us are immune to violence. That's why we're here. And as men and women, we need to unite to denounce domestic violence. It's events like this that help. The thing is, is not we can't change the world, but we can change ourselves. And with that change, we will change the world.